Uh, Betsy Mulligan Day, and we're also here with Harold. Uh, sorry, what, what should should Shinsato? Shinsato. Shinsato. That's awesome. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Thank you. We're not here to talk about their, your awesome names. We're here to talk about uh, the Jeanette Rankin Peace Center, and you guys are hosting a, an event that's coming up uh, June 11th, I believe. June 11th. That's yes, right. So. And so, tell us about this. Well, this is we're celebrating our 30th year in Missoula as a peace center resource center. And so our conference, we're putting on a conference, the second one that we've done, it's called Roots and Wings, How Will You Take Radical Responsibility for a Better World? And it comes from the idea that we have been the root of peace in the community, and the wings are uh, our um, desire to sort of get people engaged and carrying peace like wings out into the community and various initiatives of things that they're passionate about and actions that they want to take to make the world a better place. So um, this is our poster here about the event. It's on June 11th at the University Congregational Church from 8.30 until 5.30. And we're hoping to have all sorts of people there, not you know, not just people that are in the Peace Center um, community, but lots of folks here so that we can get lots of different perspectives because that's, that's where you get the rich idea generation and um, community building, so. Yeah, so what can people accept, expect from this? Well, it's a open space technology, which is a very exciting thing, and I'm gonna let, Harold's gonna facilitate that at the meeting, so I'll let him talk about that. Well, open space technology was developed by someone who'd done a, just a traditional conference for our community, uh, practitioners of improving organizations, and uh, the, after he did spend over a year working on the event, scheduling the speakers, setting up the venues, doing the tracks, people said, oh, it was a good conference, but the best part were the coffee breaks, and that's the one thing he had nothing to do with. Mm. So he, he was thinking about this, and the legend is, the way he says it, at the bottom of second martini, he thought of his work with the Peace Corps, where people met in a circle whenever they had anything to work out on in the community. and. For them to meet together and talk about things, they would put thing you could put things up on a bulletin board, and so that's what he combined it. He worked it out with uh, with that. So anyone can stand up in the center of the circle and invite to uh, investigate or dialogue about any question at all, or you can even work on things. Cool. People have done software projects this way, and so it's just a great way for people to stand up and work on something, invite other people to work with them on anything at all. Oh, interesting. But so it's going to be kind of like an, so it's going to be like a circle of people and then people can get up and talk about any issues that they think feel yeah. fitting with the theme. That's so wonderful. Yeah, yeah. but of course there are going to be a couple people who are uh, speaking up beforehand as well because you have a list of uh, guests who are right. speaking. Right, we do have some, we call them lightning keynote speakers because they're just really quick. Uh, thoughtful, inspiring um, speakers to just get people's juices flowing, get ideas and inspiration going. So we have Patrick Weaselhead, who's our 2016 peacemaker and a wonderful uh, university professor retired, and uh, Amy Sillenberg from Climate Smart Missoula and her daughter, who uh, is part of a group of young girls called Saving Our Amazing Planet. They do a bunch of fundraisers. So sort of that epitome of the wings, you know, the nice. next generation taking over. Also we have Rain Smith, uh, who's a wonderful poet and activist in town, and um, then Josh Schlotnick, of course everybody knows uh, from the Peas Farm in Garden City Harvest, a great activist. That's so, awesome. Um, yeah. Just uh, where can people find more information? They can go to www.jrpc.org. We have more information there. Take you to the website for this event and the way to register. It's free for members, $20 for people who are not members of the Peace Center. Mm -hmm. um, but it includes breakfast, snacks, lunch, and then we have this wonderful celebration at the end of the day in the courtyard at UCC. We have cake and wine and snacks to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Peace Center. And Lawrence Duncan. Music by. Yeah. Lawrence yes. Duncan is going to play for us. So cool. what time does it start? 8.30 in the morning. Okay. And then it ends at? It ends at 5.30 and then we'll go to the courtyard and Lawrence will play and we'll just enjoy some birthday cake. Is there anything else you want to say about this event? 
Um, you know, we had several people last year who still are very excited about about this year's event because they came and they they met some people, they started networking, uh, working on some things together. So we just encourage anybody who has an idea of what we need to do to make the world better to come and and network and meet some people and can they show up any time throughout the day? Um, it's yeah. best if they're there for the start okay. and the whole day. Oh, they can come. We're not they can turn come at, away. No, they can come at any time during the day. It it just helps to know what how to work it if because yeah. we give a little instruction at in the beginning. But I've seen people come uh, even less than the first part of the morning or less than the second part of the afternoon or just in the middle and contribute amazingly and. So yeah, you don't need to be there the whole day. But another cool thing is because it's open space format, mm -hmm. you can really interact with the speakers because mm -hmm. they're going to be participating in the open space. They might come to a session you you host or they may host sessions. So it's very dynamic. Very cool. Thanks, well, uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, Saturday, June, uh, June 11th from uh, 8.30 to 5 um, at the um, University Congressional Church. You guys can check out uh, Roots and Wings, yeah. the Gen hosted by the Jeanette Rankin Peace uh, Center. And they're uh, going to be hosting a nice little event, nice little yeah. round table discussion with uh, nice uh, little lightning keynote speakers. Yep. And, and it's going to be great. You guys could check it out. And if they don't come to the conference, they can still come to the birthday party. Public's welcome to help us celebrate 30 years of peacemaking. Awesome. In the Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you very much.